Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the insert assembly constraint. Now the insert constraint really tackles two constraints at once. Uh, so it is going to tackle the concentric constraint, right, in this case, and it's also going to take care of the mate or the flush constraint as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and demonstrate what I'm talking about here. We do have this assembly. Notice that we also have these two bolts here added to the assembly and we still need to fully define where they're going to be located. So let's go ahead and add a constraint to this first bolt. And again, doing it the typical way, right? So we want to go ahead and constrain a concentric face first. So let me go ahead and select that surface there. Select this inside surface here as well. Hit apply. And then we want to do the bottom constraint as well as this top face, right? Hit OK. So notice that constrains it. Only constraint it needs is lock it in place here. Um, so again, that took two different constraints, right? So let's go ahead and look at the insert constraint real quick. See how it differs. Once again, going to the constraint tab. The insert constraint is going to be this second to last tab. Notice that you also get a little picture kind of indicating what it's going to be looking for, right? So let's go ahead and select that. We do have these options here, right? So if you want it to be aligned or if you want it to be opposed, um, and that's just going to determine which orientation it's going to be facing. All right, so let's go ahead and select our first selection. Notice that by default, it's picking up the center axis of our cylindrical surface, right? Uh, you can also pick which edge you want to select. In this case, you have to keep in mind that we want this edge, right, to go flush with the surface of our assembly. So let's go ahead and select that edge there. We can go ahead and select this edge here. Hit OK. And now that's fully constrained. It just needs a lock constraint there, right? So again, cutting down your time in creating assemblies. That's been how to use the insert constraint. Hope it helped.